Hello and welcome to another video on PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and this video is going to deal with transformations. It's going to use the Braining Camp app pattern blocks to help or to show how teachers can help students understand the concepts behind transformations. And then those transformations are going to be reflections, rotations, and uh, translations. So we have our reflections, which deals with our lines of symmetry, if you will, and reflective properties. We have our rotations, where we are rotating a certain number of degrees about a, a, a point of rotation. And then, uh, lastly, it's going to be our idea of translations. Now, I have the, I have the app set up in certain settings right now that, that I like to start off with, which is no grid, uh, opaque, and it snaps at the corner. Now, of course, with rotations and reflections, especially when you're building into some of the older grades, the middle school and high school grades, we are going to want to have something that can illustrate where these uh, rotations uh, end up or where the points on our shapes end up. And so first I'm going to show just the basic ideas that you can build in your upper elementary grades and then move into middle and high school when we put a, a square grid on there and we start rotating reflecting and translating. So uh, I'm going to just kind of make a little note. We have uh, rotations, we have reflections, and we have translations. Now with the reflections, rotations, and translations we are going to have certain things to where well, we want students to understand the concepts behind these. We want students to understand kind of uh, what is happening uh, when a shape is rotating, when a shape is reflecting, and when it is translating uh, on a space. So uh, let's start off with a uh, rotation and we start with a shape that we can kind of see it rotating if you will a little bit better. If I were to put a hexagon out there we wouldn't be able to see it rotate as well. Um, but rotations by themselves, I mean early child uh, can start say placing his his finger on a vertex point, a point that is going to rotate and then taking the other finger and having it rotate this way or having it rotate that way. Either way, this idea of spinning, of course, is illustrated in this app as we hit the rotate button, and it is rotating actually about the center point, but we want it to rotate about this point here. Um, so we're going to rotate once, and then we're going to move our shape over to where that point is. We rotate again, and then move our shape to where the point is. Rotate again, and move it to where that vertex stays on that point and we rotate it again and we move it to where it stays on that point. And so that idea of rotation about a center point can be shown with these pattern blocks. And of course, if you have a basic pattern block set, you're not going to have this shape here. And we want to use shapes maybe that they can see. So we have this shape. We have our trapezoid, the one that they can manipulate at their desk. And we want to rotate about a, a point of rotation which will be this vertex point here and I want to rotate this direction well when I take my shape and I rotate it that way I'm going to actually bring in another I'm going to have it at the base I'm going to make it black and hit save and I'm going to take this piece here I'm going to delete it right now I'm going to bring another piece in here on top, and then I'm going to rotate that piece. So I click here and I rotate once. But I'm going to make it a little more transparent. There, cancel. I want to do my opacity, or opacity, <laughs> transparency, so that I can see through it. And I can see where that point rotated. So there's one rotation. And I'm going to bring another point in, another trapezoid, and I'm going to do two rotations and then move my point to the corner and I'm going to bring another point in or point another trapezoid is one two three and then click it over and so you can see as I'm rotating those different pieces that I that I um, have our uh, the the piece rotating in a uh, clock a counterclockwise way 
And then, of course, you can do the rotations in a clockwise way, uh, however you'd like, and pick other pieces that you're going to rotate. You know, you, you have a lot of uh, exploration that you can do with these rotation pieces uh, or rotating these pieces. Uh, then we have ideas of translation to where we are taking a point or a shape here and we're going to translate it somewhere else. Um, before I get to translation, I want to talk about lines of reflection. And there's another piece, another video that talks about lines of uh, reflection. But if this is my line of reflection, then I'm going to have this as my result. If that is my line of re reflection, then I can have this shape here as my result when it reflects about that line. But I can also have a trapezoid here and then its reflection is going to be over here somewhere. So you have students exploring the idea of reflection and reflecting about a plane uh, or a line inside of a plane. And like I said earlier, you can add the square grid in here and you can actually see where um, these pieces are going to reflect because they'll click in and if that's the case, then this will be, this is one, two places over, one, two places over here. So uh, reflection, you have the square grid. You can bring in ordered pairs of your vertices, and you can see how they reflect uh, about that line of uh, symmetry or that, that line of reflection. And then lastly, it's really good to have a square grid of sorts in place so that when you're doing translations, you can see that when I have this this hexagon and I'm going to translate it up let's just say we want we can take this point here and we can translate it up one two three up three and over one two three four so our translation is going to go up three units and to the right four units and every point is going to go up three units and then to the right four units, up three units, and to the right four units, up three units, to the right four units. So every vertice, every point on that shape is going to translate the same way. So it is um, translation of all. And, and this builds a, an early concept. You can use this actually with your pre-calculus students and the idea of um, vectors and how every point on there is going to uh, have the same unit vector translation. Um, but with our younger students, we want to see that we're sliding. We're sliding that piece from one spot to another. We're taking that and we're translating it. We are sliding it across our, our uh, board from one spot to the next spot. And that's what translation is, is moving it. And everything moves the same direction in the same place. So transformations, there's uh, uh, there'll be other videos kind of going in more specifics, but this is just in general how you can use pattern blocks and the Braining Camp app here of pattern blocks to help to help model and get students to understand the concepts, basic concepts behind the transformations. Uh, thank you for watching PyPad Mathematics, and I am Professor Lamb.